Yo, what up, Knicks fans? Marshall Green here from Chat Sports, and you're watching New York Knicks Now. In today's show, we got a lot to discuss. We're going to talk about the most recent Derrick Rose trade rumors. Is there's a team in the Western Conference that has been reportedly interested in a Derrick Rose trade. We'll talk about it and see what potentially maybe the Knicks could get back if they made a move with that team. Also, yesterday, Derrick Rose didn't play, and Cam Reddish did not play. Tom Thibodeau said it was a coach's decision. It sounds like he's going to be benched for quite some time. We'll talk about it and see if it makes any sense that Reddish is out of the rotation. We're going to break all that down, but first, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, youtube.com slash TV. We put out videos almost every single day on the latest Knicks news and rumors. We go live for a lot of game days. We have a lot of watch parties. I find this channel to be one of the most interactive Knicks YouTube channels out there. So if that's what you're looking for, one-stop shop on YouTube to keep you up to date with everything around the New York Knicks. Hit that big red button, and let's roll. Derek Rose, is he on the trade market? That I do not know, but I do know that the Dallas Mavericks, according to Rick Buecher, linked the Mavs and Derrick Rose and said that the Mavericks are interested in a potential trade. Rose was a DNP versus Cleveland back on Sunday of this week. Tom Thibodeau said it was just a rest day. But he also said he wanted to stick to the nine-man rotation that he ran out there. Said it was due to a back-to-back. -back. But Rose didn't really play that many minutes in the prior games. Very, very weird situation. Let's go to Rick Buecher. This is what he had to say about Derrick Rose being linked to the Dallas Mavericks. He said, the Mavericks, of course, lost Brunson to the Knicks last summer and are in a desperate need of a second playmaker to relieve all-star point forward Luka Doncic. They've brought on a former Nick, Kemba Walker, for a test run, but a league source said they also have interest in a current one, the aforementioned Derrick Rose. Well, I think there's still some gas in the tank for Derrick Rose. I just don't know at this point if the right fit for Derrick Rose is with the New York Knicks. We're going to break all this down a little bit more. We'll show you some stats and what a trade could look like in a second. But first, let's show our guy the one time youngest MVP ever in league history. A guy that when he came to the New York Knicks and that four seed of a season the Knicks had back in the COVID years was maybe our best player after the trade. Type the Rose for Derrick Rose down in the comments section. Let's show our guy Derrick Rose some love in the comments section because if this is the end for Derrick Rose in Madison Square Garden the second time around, I had a lot of fun watching him. He was a lot of fun to watch those years, especially in the playoff series against the Hawks. Let's show him some love. Type the Rose emoji down in the comment section. Derrick Rose so far this year for the New York Knicks hasn't really played all that much. He's played in 21 games so far, but only 13 minutes per game. And he hasn't really been the same efficient self that we've seen in the years prior. Only averaging six and a half points, two assists, shooting 40% from the field. It's one of his career lows. He is shooting 34.7% from the three-point line, so he can still get it done from out there. But it's kind of like he's almost lost a step. When you definitely compare him to the prior two years with the New York Knicks. I mean, this guy, when the Knicks traded Dennis Smith Jr. in a second-round pick for Derrick Rose, that was one of the first and early moves of the Leon Rose era. We saw what type of player he was. I mean, in 27 minutes per game, the guy was averaging 15 points, 4 assists, 48.7% from the field, and 41% from downtown. Even last year, before he got hurt with that ankle injury, he was averaging 12 points, 4 assists, 44.5% from the field, and 40% from three, look, Derrick Rose can still hoop, no doubt about it. The guy is still a bucket getter. He's a mid-range specialist. He's shown the ability to knock down threes the prior two seasons. He did over a 40% clip. I like Derrick Rose. Just where the Knicks are at a team where, look, they're not competing for a championship. They can sell you that BS. We tell you the truth on this channel. This team is treading water with the best of them. They're trying to find out who they are by going through the season when they really just need to commit to a rebuild and build and play the youth. A youth, which why I believe trading Derrick Rose isn't the worst idea in the world. It would hurt, no doubt about it. I would hate to see Derrick Rose go. But Derrick Rose would be a nice fit on a contender, and I do think him with the Dallas Mavericks makes a lot of sense. He could be that guard that comes off the bench in spot 
of Luka Doncic and kind of run that offense a little bit. Give you 10, 12, 14 minutes per game. Get you 10 points. Shoot 45% from the field. They need a veteran on that team, especially in the backcourt. And I think it makes a lot of sense for the Mavs. And look, we'll show you some people that maybe the Knicks could trade for on that Mavs roster. I'm just not sure if there's a guy I would want back. But I'll ask you this question. Should the Knicks trade Derrick Rose? Do you think it's time to move off of Rose I wouldn't be mad at it. I'd love to see him keep playing with the Knicks, but at the end of the day, he's not going to be here long-term, and if you can get a piece that might be here long-term, maybe that's a draft pick, maybe that's an expiring deal. I mean, Rose is already an expiring deal, but you can get something that makes you better in the future. I think that makes some sense. Type T for trade, K for keep on what you would do with Derrick Rose. We're going to get to more trade rumors in that Cam Reddish talk in a second, but first, I want to tell you about a new sponsor we have here at the channel, and that is Fetch. Earn points on any receipt from any store or restaurant and redeem those points for gift cards and other rewards. Start today. Go to chatsports.com slash fetch. Download the app and get a free 5,000 bonus points already halfway to a gift card. Look, it's so easy to use. We're going to show you a video of how you can get it done. Fetch is super easy to use and free and it's an app that lets you re earn rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt, and you will earn points for your purchases. You don't have to worry about where the receipt is from or what's on it. So let me show you how simple it is. All you do is open the app, press the orange camera button, and snap a photo of your receipt. Then hit submit, and you'll see that confetti pop showing you that you've earned more reward points. It's a simple process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for Amazon purchases. You can link it up to your email. So when you do the online, shopping you still get the receipts 5,000 bonus points already halfway on your way to getting a gift card of your choice from all the stores out there fetches partners with a lot of them just snap your receipts everyone's going to be shopping during the holidays ask for your receipt the app is totally free you don't have to buy anything it's just a way they can make your receipts go to work and get your future free gift cards chatsports.com slash fetch that link is in the comments and description of today's show what could the Knicks get though for Derrick Rose in a trade with the Dallas Mavericks. That's what's going to matter. Because if you're talking trades, what are we talking? I do think this is important, though. Derrick Rose is an expiring $14 million deal. He's technically on a two-year deal. But there's a team option for that second year. So if the team wanted to move off from him, they could. It could be an expiring deal. If they liked what they saw from him once they traded him, they can keep him. There's some flexibility there. And I currently, I honestly think that Derrick Rose has some trade value. And you look at what the Dallas Mavericks roster is right now. you got to remember Derrick Rose makes around $14 million. They have Reggie Bullock, who makes $10 million on two years. Dwight Powell has an 11, $11 million deal with one year left. Dorian Finney-Smith, they're not trading him. Christian Wood, maybe he could be a guy they could look to trade. He's on a one-year, $14 million expiring deal. Davis Bertans is 16 per for three years. I don't want anything to do with him. I don't think they're trading t Tim Hardaway. So you're looking at either Bullock, Powell, and if they're even worried trading Wood, maybe that's a guy. I just don't know if they're a great trade partner for the New York Knicks. I think Bullock would be fun, but what's the point of getting him? It's just another vet that is who he is, and the Knicks really aren't in win-now mode. If you could get Christian Wood, I think that would make some sense, but that's really the only player I could get, and I don't think the Mavs are trading Christian Wood. Trade it for Derrick Rose. I think you might have to add a couple of second-round picks. we got our Mavs. Mavs channel guy producing the video. He said maybe he would. I don't know. I like Christian Wood a hell of a lot more than Derrick Rose. If they offered that, I would do the deal. No doubt about it. We'll keep you up to date. You can also follow me on Twitter. Stay in the loop on all things New York Knicks. Let's get to Cam Reddish because honestly, him being outside of the rotation last night against the Cleveland Cavaliers on Sunday is upsetting for me. Um, I love what I've seen from Cam Reddish so far this season. The stats aren't beautiful, no doubt about it, but when you watch the games, you see that the guy is a difference maker on the offensive end, the defensive end, and especially in the fast break. He was a DNP, coach's decision. We'll get you Tom Thibodeau's quotes in a second, but in 20 games so far this year, he's played 22 minutes, and he's been solid. I mean, he's averaging eight and a half, an assist per game, shooting over 44% from the field. His three-point percentage has been a little bit low. That's an area he struggled since he was traded from the Hawks to the Knicks. But the guy is one of the best finishers on this team. He's one of the only one-man fast breaks on this team. And he's been one of the best perimeter defenders on this team. I just don't know if he's ever fully recovered from that groin injury. Reddish has to be in the rotation. 
This is a guy that has potential to be an elite wing in this league. He's not ever going to be an MVP. Not going to be the Tracy McGrady or the Paul George comp. But can he be a guy at 6'8", 6'9", that comes off the bench, plays hard on defense, gets you good shots? I mean, you should, you can't tell me that you can't find minutes for Cam Reddish on this team. I like Quentin Grimes, but he shouldn't be playing 40 minutes and Cam Reddish playing no minutes. I like R.J. Barrett. He shouldn't be playing all the minutes and Cam Reddish getting no minutes. It really comes down to Julius Randle. I mean, look, Obi needs to play more. Cam Reddish needs to play more. I like how Evan Fournier is not playing at this point. But look, the Knicks have to find a way to get their youth and develop them. You traded a first-round pick for Cam Reddish. He's had some big games. Why the hell is he out of the rotation? I will never understand. This is what Tom Thibodeau had to do and the lousy explanation of why T Cam Reddish isn't in the rotation. He said, I want to get it to a nine-man rotation. It worked a lot better. So just be ready. We're always going to do what we think is best for the team. So I want to prioritize that, and that doesn't mean it's permanent. It just means that's where we are right now. I don't want to put anything on one guy. I don't believe in that. The big thing is you take a hard look at the game. What can we do differently? What can make it better? I liked where we were offensively and defensively Sunday against Cleveland, even though it was a low-scoring game. I don't really care if we win scoring a lot of points or scoring few points as long as we have more than them. <sighs> this is just what it comes down to. Cam Reddish isn't a Tom Thibodeau guy. When Thibodeau got word that Reddish was traded from the Knicks to the Hawks, there was reports that he was upset. And I think those reports were confirmed when Cam Reddish was consistently not in the rotation <coughs> after you traded a first-round pick for a guy. I mean, look, it's going to be a waste of first-round pick for the Knicks if they don't get anything out of Cam Reddish. Got to maximize your assets. Cam Reddish is 22. He's a 6'9 wing. I know I haven't been the biggest fan of him, but he needs minutes. He's a difference maker out there. He's guarded John Morant. He's done good job on other guards. He's your best defensive wing outside of Quentin Grimes. It, it, make, it makes no sense. I'll ask you, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe... You know, I, I don't see the game the right way. I watch every Knicks game, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what this team needs. I think Cam Reddish helps a lot. I think it helped in the future. I think he's one of the only elite small forwards we have on this roster that has that potential. But should Cam Reddish be in the rotation? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Let me know what you think. I think absolutely yes, because the Knicks record when Reddish starts this year and eight starts is four and four. That's, that's 500. The Knicks aren't 500 right now. They were better when Reddish was starting. Cam Reddish has untapped potential. A 6'8", 6'9", wing that can put the ball on the deck. Can slow Euro his way into the paint. He can get hot from three. He can score in the mid-range. He can get out in the fast break. He can defend one through four almost. I'm not saying the guy's an all-star. But I'm saying he deserves to be in a rotation of a team that's under 500. Makes no freaking sense. This is what the Knicks need to do. They have to consolidate, get rid of Randall. Get rid of Fournier. Honestly, you might have to get rid of somebody else. Maybe it'd be Derrick Rose. That's who I would do. I would get rid of Rose. I would get rid of Randall. I would get rid of Fournier. And I would prioritize the use. Find out what I have in Obi Toppin. Because we're about to be in year four. And I still don't know what kind of player he is. Emmanuel quickly needs to play more minutes. I need to see more from Cam Reddish. Prioritize the youth. Consolidate the roster. It's freaking very straightforward what this team needs to do. I know they're coming off a win yesterday, and I don't want to be too upset, but I just don't get the whole idea of Cam Reddish not being in rotation. I appreciate everyone that tunes in, as always, to New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. If you're a real one, type real one because you made it this far in the video, and we'll see you Wednesday. We're going to be hosting a Knicks versus Hawks watch party at Madison Square Garden. F. Trey Young. See you Wednesday.